Here we are at the third Living in Society exhibit. And we're looking particularly at the two large marine shell containers. Uh, these shells came originally from the uh, Gulf Coast uh, as part of an, either an extensive trade network or an extensive acquisition network that's typical of the Hopewell people. Right, and both of these are examples of, of Hopewell culture artifacts. The one in the front is from the Ater Mound in Ross County, and the one in the back is from the Hopewell Mound Group, actually Mound Number 2, and that Hopewell Mound Group is also in Ross County. Mm -hmm. uh, in each case, the interior portions of the shell have been cut away, and the edges carefully ground and smoothed to make some kind of a container. Such containers we know were used in historic times by the Creek and the Cherokee Indians, for example, and it was used to hold something called the black drink, a kind of a tea um, that they would use on ceremonial occasions, and only the, the chiefs, or the most important people, would drink that. So maybe we have an example of similar things happening in Hopewell times. Maybe these particular shells also contain some kind of a, a drink or some kind of a material that was used only on special occasions by people of high status.